Good morning, YouTube family. Firestarter Breaks here with your daily inspiration from the wonderful Word of God for February 23rd, 2023. Hope everybody had a wonderful week so far. Mine's been pretty good. Catching a few live streams, saying hi to the card community and other people that are out there. I'm glad I'm getting the good response to these videos. It's something that I feel I was told to share. So, anyway, let's get into today's verses. Today's first verse is, uh, both will be out of Deuteronomy. The first one will be Deuteronomy 31.6. Let's go to that one real quick here. Be strong, be fearless, don't be afraid, and don't be scared of your enemies, because the Lord your God is the one who marches with you. He won't let you down, and he won't abandon you. And yes, we might not be in wars and stuff like that right now, but you know what? That's everyday life for people, you know? There's some people out there that, you know, struggle with certain things and deal with just inner demons and stuff and God's right there tells you he will be there with you the whole time the whole time and believe me that is true I have when I've needed him he has been there he has fought with me and again I can't be a happier person since I've come to Christ because it's just been awesome. I'm not saying that I, I don't make mistakes because we're human. We are going to make mistakes. But he will forgive us for those mistakes. He loves every one of his children. So let's go to the second verse, which is Deuteronomy 20, verse 4. Because the Lord your God is going with you to fight your enemies. Sorry. Because the Lord your God is going with you to fight your enemies for you. And to save you. So see, twice in Deuteronomy it tells you he's going to help you out. And if you if the fight gets too hard for you, he steps in, boom, knocks it out. So just praise him for that. If you're able to, let's bow our heads and just pray for this morning. Father, we come to you through your son, Jesus Christ. With glory, praise, honor, and love. You deserve all the praise in the world, Lord. You are our strength. You are the one who will stick by us in uh, t bad times and good times. I ask that you watch over everybody as they do their daily travels, Lord. I also ask you to heal those who are sick, those who are hurting, those who are in pain. And you know who they are, Lord, because you know each and every one of us by our name. Lord, we thank you for everything you have given us. We ask you, we, we thank you for, for making us. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that, Lord. I just, again, I just ask you to keep everybody safe, Lord. Especially those who have to go into hard situations. Be there with them, fight with them, Lord. And I ask that you... I just feel somebody is going to feel really moved to come to you, Lord. I don't know who they are, where they might live, but I definitely feel the movement, Lord. I ask this all in your precious Son, Jesus' name. Amen. Well, folks. I hope everybody has a blessed day. God bless each and every one of you that is out there. Let me know in the comments how you think this is going. Or if there's something you'd like me to change to and, you know, maybe mix it up a bit. But I want to thank everybody who has commented. I appreciate every one of you. You all are my brothers and sisters in the Lord. Stay safe. Treat others how you want to be treated. And God bless again each and every one of you. I love you all. And I will see you tomorrow on the Lippity Dippity Doodah side. Have a great day, folks.